Do you like bacon? Do you love bacon? Are you kind of a bacon snob? Does your bacon have to be just right? You're not going to settle for a less than perfect bacon? That's me. I found out earlier that I don't like turkey bacon. So I went back to the pork bacon and I'm trying various brands to see which one I like the best. Kim Townsville here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Remember it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have a bacon that you want me to try but don't tell me to try any kind of turkey bacon because mm -mm, I did an experiment and that's just not my thing. Feel free to share the video if appropriate. Excuse my nails. I'm, they're horrible. I'm doing a nail repair treatment on them so they're just going to look probably bad for about a week but hopefully at the end of the week they'll look better. I did my shopping at Walmart, which I'm not really fond of Walmart, but on my budget is about what I can afford. And I saw this great value, which is Walmart's generic brand bacon. And it was a lot cheaper than anything else they had. It's a hickory smoked original bacon. It's um, 48 ounces, three pounds. I'm going to cook this up, put some of it in the freezer, put some in the fridge to snack on and to eat on for keto-ish type meals and let you know in this video what the results are. It's really, really hard to read the nutritional labeling, so I'll probably try to flatten it out and take a photo of it. Once I get the bacon out of here, I just can't get it close enough here. But if I'm reading it correctly, one serving is one slice of bacon that has 50 calories and it gives you, I think, three grams of protein. That's what I think. Okay, I'm not gonna cook bacon with my hair down like this or dress like this. So I'm going to go pull my hair back, put on a shirt that I don't care if it gets speck and grease on it. I'll be right back. I'm back in more bacon cooking appropriate attire. This is my shirt from Becoming Outdoor Woman. I do have some videos up about that. And the neckline had an unfortunate accident with my knife because I can't stand something right up against my neck. Unless it's made of gold or silver. Just get busy. Cooking beans for chili. I'm cooking this bacon in my very old electric skillet, and I'm going to use the lid because. I don't want the grease going everywhere and I have the doors closed to every room in the house because I love bacon. I love the smell of bacon but I don't want every single thing in the house smelling like bacon. I have a pair of dedicated scissors that are in the kitchen that we use only for kitchen stuff. And I'm going to use them to cut this bacon up. Cut my bacon in half because it's easier to cook that way. I like my bacon pretty crunchy. How do you like yours? Some people like it just a little warmed up. I think I overestimated the real estate of this pan. Always, when you're handling uncooked meat, make sure that you don't cross contaminate. It's good to have either a dedicated towel or use some paper towels to wipe your hands off. At least wipe your hands off in between touching things. I'm going to wash my hands. I 
two pair of tongs. These are old. These are new, but they annoy me. Let's see if they annoy me tonight. <laughs> remember to do it. When the bacon is done, I'm going to put probably about three days worth of bacon in a container like this and stick it in the freezer. And then when I want to eat some, I can just pull it out and microwave it a little bit and it's good to go. I won't cook this fully because since I'm going to microwave it a little bit, that's going to cook it and crisp it up a little bit more at the end. So I'm going to cook it a little bit less than, than what I really like to have it for eating. Okay, trying to get the nutritional labeling information. Looks like one slice is a serving and going to have five grams of fat, ten, I can't even read that, three grams of protein, no vitamin A, no calcium, which bacon shouldn't have any, no vitamin C, no, no iron. So for me, I'm looking at, where'd you go, 50 calories, for two slices and three grams of protein. Cookie making is messy, messy, messy. Normally I cook this in um, like a stew pot. It's a little bit deeper because it contains a hot, it has a higher side and it contains the grease, but I couldn't figure out a way to get mine. Filming done if I did that, so I'm making a bigger mess than I normally would. For the sake of this video, but you're worth it, right? You're worth it. Nope, I'm not draining it because I'm keto-ish. I want the fat. And it's not hot enough to melt this plastic stuff. And you can leave me all the comments down there about not eating in plastic. I need to be putting this in a glass container and all that good stuff. But I have plastic, so. But you, feel free to educate me. I'll be enlightened. Look at that. Looks good. I like bacon that cooks up with a texture, crispy aroma. I hope this tastes great. That's about 15 half pieces. Normally I eat four half pieces at a single serving, so that's almost four days worth. And I'm going to freeze it like that 
and since I kind of just don't stack them on top of each other and kind of crisscross it, it's pretty easy to take a fork and just kind of pry uh, as many pieces as I want to eat off of it and then microwave those for a snack or for a meal. Since this grease is already hot, I'm going to be very careful about adding to it. I'm not going to take the grease out because it's just going to help this to cook a little bit faster. And I'm going to use all that grease for something else. I'll add it to a recipe and put the calories in there for that. If you do cook it with a lid on it, um, there's going to be condensation on the top of the lid. So you're either going to have to, when you lift it, point the lid away from you and let the condensation fall on there. Because when the water falls in the fat, the water turns into steam and it wants to get out of the fat as fast as possible. So it's going to turn into steam. Steam rises and goes up. So you want to do it like that. But you do want to be safe. Just don't point it towards your face. Like, Don't be an idiot. I'll show you what I mean about the condensation. I just tilt it off like that and then let it do its thing. It's going to steam back up on itself. And cooking bacon is so messy. I don't like. I don't want to do this every day or every morning when I want bacon. I cook it all at one time and then just put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. And then I only have to clean the mess at one time. And if you have never cooked before, you do not want to do this unless you have adult supervision. So if you're a child with no Cooking experience, don't try this unless there's somebody at the house. And don't ever, ever, ever cook bacon or something like this at really high temperatures and go off and leave it because that is how kitchen fires get started. Leaving food unattended. You don't want to do that. If you do have to step away from something in the kitchen, like for an emergency or going to the bathroom, set a timer so that the timer will go off to remind you, hey, get back in there, you've got something hot in the kitchen you need to attend to, because people forget. Things catch on fire. Damage ensues, people get hurt. We don't want that. When I was a little girl, my dad had bacon, and my mom got up and fixed some bacon every single morning for breakfast, and the kids didn't get bacon every day, because there were four of us. So I thought bacon was for grown people. And I thought, when I get grown, I'm gonna have bacon every single day of my life. And then I found out bacon's not supposed to be good for you. So I feel guilty about having bacon and didn't have it every single day of my life. But now, on the keto diet, they're saying bacon's good for you and that animal fat's better for you than the man-made uh, oils and all that kind of stuff. So who knows? They go from one end to the other. So I like bacon. I'm going to eat it. I have my cholesterol checked every year. It's really, really good. It's actually going down because of the, the diet that I eat, which is not keto. I just, I'm just, I'm deciding to do a few keto-ish days into my eat meal plan to see if I can drop a weight class in powerlifting. So we'll see, but I'm enjoying eating the bacon. What I am liking about this bacon, it's not sticking to the pan. It's cooking up nice. It's not curling up on itself. 
I hate it when Becky does that. I may have just gotten a good batch, which I'm not going to complain about. But so far, I don't see any reason to see anything negative about this bacon. It's not burning. The fat's not smelling bad. It has a great smell. It has a good proportion to me of fat and lean meat. Match two. I think I'm actually going to put more bacon in there because it's not taking up as much room as I thought. I've put labels on here so that I remember that each slice has 50 calories and 3 grams of protein. I did want to do a little bit plainer on that one. That way that will help me when I pull it out and do my calorie count and my protein count. Still happy with it. I'm glad I had the lid on. I am finding some really super thin pieces like that which don't, don't make me like ecstatic because it's just really difficult to cook. But not many, just maybe a couple couple of whole slices like that. For the most part it is thick sliced bacon. I only buy thick sliced bacon because I can't stand trying to cook pieces like that and like this. But somehow a few pieces slid in there. I've been cutting the heat down when I'm taking it out and also when I'm taking the lid and um, getting the condensation up and cutting back up to cook it. Yum. Cutting down the heat a little bit before I do the lid thing. cooking bacon and bacon in the oven but I wasn't really happy with that. To me it took just as long with the pans that I have. And heating the oven up uses a whole lot more energy than using a range top or an electric skillet. And I'm pretty cheap. I just got mine heating bill for February is $126 from my, all of my electric bill for this whole house. And I like that. I'm still happy with this bacon, the way it's cooking up. I have all that done. really want to use more than four containers. I don't have to sneeze. 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 Not gonna. Not gonna. I'm not gonna sneeze.
Thanks for watching this video, by the way. I know you have better things to do with your time, but I certainly do appreciate you spending it with me. I'd love for you to leave a comment and tell me something about yourself. Tell me a little secret right here on YouTube. Wouldn't that be fun? Yay, last batch in. Cut it back up. Properly dispose of this, because it's germy and nasty. I like my hands. Down with the scissors and I'm going to spray a little bit of bleach on them to disinfect them and then just put them in the dishwasher with everything else because when I run the dishwasher I run the sandy rinse and it gets everything sanitized. Using the dishwasher gets your dishes cleaner when you use sandy rinse because when you wash by hand, the hot the hottest the water can be is what comes out of the tap. When you use a dishwasher it can get much hotter than that because the water's not having to touch your skin. Think about it. Look it up. Last batch. Of course it has to show out. It's so messy. I'm very pleased with how this bacon is picked up. This is the first set that's kind of stuck together, and I think it's because I really, ow, I think it's because I'm, I overloaded it just a little bit. Plus, we have a lot of grease in here. So I found me a jar, and I'm going to save this grease when it cools off. I'm going to put the grease in that and use it for some other things. Keto says it's good. Dietitians say it's bad. My grandmother said it was good. So what do I sh what do I do? Go with two out of three. And I think we're done with the heat. And on these things, don't ever pull these things out until they cool off because that little thing that sticks in there it gets hot because that's how it heats up. When you unplug, don't yank by the cord. Take it by the knob and pull it out that way. Be safe. Safety first, my friends. Safety first, my friends. Look at that. <laughs> I did cut it into pieces. That one's just going to have to be separated from the pan. Well, actually not from the pan. And this. Go ahead and live in there together for a little while. And I'm not really even gonna eat any of this bacon tonight. Can you believe I cooked bacon and I'm not even gonna eat any tonight? Because I already had a blizzard for dinner. Look at that bacon. Look at that bacon. Yummy goodness. Mmm. Yummy goodness. Four containers of yummy goodness. One goes in the refrigerator and the rest go in the freezer. And bacon's good. Thanks for hanging out with me while I did that. I did have quite a bit of grease left over. I'm gonna let it cool off, like I said, and put it in this jar to use for something else. And I've gotta wipe down my countertops and my stove. This is why I only cook bacon in batch. Little bit of Ajax. Um, right. There's my fat, chilling. Nothing tragic there. Good as new.
Oh my goodness, no, but it's clean. I'm finally gonna taste this bacon. I normally have three eggs, which is gonna be about 210 calories and 18 grams of protein. And I put about a tablespoon of the fat in there, the bacon fat, which is 100 calories and no grams of protein. And then three whole slices of bacon, which is gonna be about 135 calories and nine grams of protein. But this bacon's a little different, a um, little different calculation on the calories and the protein grams. If I didn't want to use the bacon grease to cook my eggs in, I would just heat the bacon back up in the microwave. It'd be a lot faster, but I do want to cook my eggs in the bacon grease, so I'm doing it this way. This is how easy it is for me to reheat the bacon up like this and have my skillet prepared to cook my eggs. This Great Value bacon is cooking up beautifully. It's still flat. It's not curling. Smells great. Look forward to eating it. Bacon. Bacon and eggs. Now to enjoy bacon, eggs, and coffee. Mmm, ah, that is good. That is really, really good. Thumbs up. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this without having, without you having to watch me chew. Round two with the bacon, bacon and eggs, and hot pepper jelly. If you've never had bacon and hot pepper jelly together, please do it. This is courtesy of my colleague, Ruth Saro. It is awesome. Look at that bacon. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Mmm. Good. Great value bacon. I highly recommend it. Good people. This is my type of research. Much more enjoyable than dissertating. I can tell you that. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get. More yum. I'm almost out of the jelly. Here's another beautiful batch of the great value bacon from the freezer. It cooked up just fine in the skillet. Watch. This is the last of the hot pepper jelly that I have. If there's someone in your life that makes hot pepper jelly, then you need to hug that person and, cause it's awesome. This is not the last of the great value smoked bacon that I have. There's some more in the freezer, but this is my yummy lunch for today. I'm not going to subject you to watching me eat this bacon, but I'm just gonna tell you that this is a great lunch. Now, I either got a really, really good package of the Great Value Smoked Bacon, or maybe it's all like this, but I'll be, I will definitely be buying it again. <laughs> it beats the turkey bacon like 5,000 points. Thanks for watching my review of the Great Value Smoked Bacon. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share the video if appropriate, and until next time, eat more bacon. Maybe you can watch me some. It is so good. It's so yummy.
Really, really good. I'm going to cut this camera off and go eat this. Bye. Thanks for watching my review about the Great Value Hickory Smoked Bacon. Yes, I'm filming the ending before I even cook the bacon because, I don't know, it's just easier that way. Please feel free to like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment if you like. If there's a brand of bacon I should be trying and testing out, please let me know. And remember, until next time, grown-ups eat bacon. Bye. Grown-ups eat bacon. Grown people can eat all the bacon they want. <laughs>